This zone is serious. Oh, heart's beating hard. We're back at the eclectic parking lot of Mount Baker. Staring up at the classic Mount Shuxon. And I say back because we've already been here. Uh, last year, we thought we had a weather window. We came down and met up with local legend and incredible skier, Zach Giffen. And we headed up and found 90 mile an hour north winds and just completely wind loading uh, the northwest Kular. And we pulled the plug. Man, the wind is ripping up there. Now we're here back a year later and I think we have just about the best window possible. Technically, on this line, there is no like perfect run that is called the classic. It's called Mount Shuxon. And when you read it in the book, they actually, the classic line they say is the White Salmon Glacier but they also say a modern alternative is the Northwest Pular. What I've been dreaming about this entire time is skiing that in Powell, because it is about as close to an Alaskan face as you can get this close to a ski area. I went out this morning with Zach and a couple other buddies. We went and did a snow check. Let's go do a My good snow check. <laughs> snow check. <laughs> just, right. uh, just testing. It ended up being an insane line. And then, yeah, I think all signs are pointing yes for tomorrow. We've got two other guys showing up, Alexi Godbu and Stan Ray, fellow Solomon team athletes and the most known for their films, the Blank Collective. And they're going to be completely out of their element and climbing and skiing big, big mountains with big lines. Taking these like mini golf shredders into something massive. And it's steep, it's exposed, it's burly. Hi Sam. What's up buddy? What's up? It's warm down here. That looks like a blue run. <laughs> <laughs> it's a double blue square, I would yeah, say. An easy blue right there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Double blue square. Looks, That's looks if pretty. you divide like a triple black into blues, it'd be like a quadruple blue. Yeah, yeah. I, I personally think it's what we're going to end up doing is like to ski the actual face, like getting through the coulard itself, oh, okay the traverse, regroup there, ski cut underneath the, the cliff, cliff mm -hmm. and yeah. then like ski from like skiers right to left to like get your slough going into yeah, the the yeah. couloir and then yeah. you kind of work your way through those cliffs and then it's a real line uh -huh. we're gonna go about three miles to the top and um, about climb around 4500 to 5000 vert uh, depending exactly where we stop and then on the way back down, we're looking at pretty steep line, 45, 50, maybe a little bit more and sustained for almost like 3000 vert of skiing. This is truly a dream line. Buenos dias. You nervous there, Stan? Yeah, I'm a little nervous. Okay, good, because I am too. Boys, we ready?
Shitty. And then you get over here and you see right down there. Fucker factor 100 right there. This looks hammered. Yeah. Super hammered. And I'm like really wondering what the face looks like. Oh. Yeah, this is a tough call right now. That's what I'm thinking too. Hey! Um. So this upper section, the actual chute that goes into the face is like, it's way more wind hammered than we could have imagined. So all of a sudden it throws everything into question. So how do you feel? You wanna go down and check it or? Yeah, it? I'm gonna just work my way to here to try and look down it a little bit. Daddy, what do you think about that? Like that texture and all that stuff right there. I mean, I want to look at it quick. I feel that we can hug the left there. Yeah. Under the rocks. And then we can take a new decision from there. Yeah. And then we climb out if we climb out. But should we send all five down? No. Okay. Hey, wait. Wow. Yeah, why do you come to me? Yeah, what's the consensus down there, boys? We're still moving into position to make a call, but better feeling about this all in general. Um, just give us another five plus. Yep, no problem. Okay, Bjarne, you're clear. This zone is serious. That is a big cliff, big steep line. Oh, heart's beating hard. And we still got that traverse to do. Ugh. Nice axe out time. Yeah, I'm good here. Oh, my radio channel. Oh, they're calling. So, consensus is it's safe. It's not gonna be as rippable as we thought it was, um, but we can ski it. All right, uh, so we're gonna make our way down one by one. Move slow, you might want your ice axe out for the last little part. Um, it's very, very, very exposed. There's a pretty big cliff below us. Ice traverse to go across. So I'm gonna make it to the boys over there where they're in the safe zone. Yeah, buddy. Uh, yeah. Big exposure right here. Take it slow, take your time. Yeah, we'll do. Oh, 
Oh yeah, she's big down there. Yeah, no, we, we kept gaining confidence. Like, lost, it was like you just kind of got to freaking go and hope you yeah. realize if you got an escape route, you can get back up, feel comfortable getting back up, then you just, as Jimmy told me last year, you just go until it doesn't make sense anymore. And it just kept making sense. Holy shit, look at this though. Five, five, three, two, one, oh yeah. Oh yeah! You got it later! Three, two, one, dropping. Oh yeah! Did you come out of breath tonight? Yoo! Oh, that's nice. Tabernacle, that was unreal, dude. Whew. That was a good leg burner. Holy smokes, I dropped into there and started going way too fast. We did it! <laughs> yeah, boys. Hell yeah. That was your first ski mountaineering line. Oh my god, fucker factor, million kajillion there. Yeah. What's the... Fucking did the Northwest Coulard after like 10 years of thinking about yet. this. Line there, and then beer there. Beer there. Let's go. <laughs> if you didn't notice, the skin touch is right over here. Come on. Right here. Yeah, right Where? here. Right there. Oh, okay. oh yeah. All right. See you at the car, suckers. Why are we racing? There is no boy. I didn't count them. Oh, now we are back at the car. Eesh. Now the adventure is over. Oh, was that ever fun? That was all time. Give me a beer. That is a day. You go like this. You go like what? This. I fucked it up. <laughs> or just go like that. And then you crack it, and then you say, "Hey, boys." Hey, boys. Hey. 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 Go on. Oh. That was really cold. Oh, that was really cold. Oh. Oh, that hurt. Ah. <laughs> Ow. Uh. Ow. <laughs> I should go for a quick jog because I'm almost at double my activity goal for the day. I'm almost all the way around. I probably need to burn just another like 500 calories.
You mean you had butterflies last night and how uh -huh. does it feel now to like actually be down? So good. I don't know, there's something magical about dreaming about a line for years and years and years and then just finally going and do it. Those are the days you remember for a long time. And that was a, one of those days. Had an awesome crew. Could have been better, but it was pretty damn good. Like nine out of 10, I would say. So, <laughs> these guys are like, what? Well, you're not good with a nine? Come on. <laughs>